worried. I think it's getting more difficult, but I think that I, I'm, I'm one of many who are anti-Trump. We'll vote for anybody other than Trump um, as an alternative. He reminds me of my elderly grandparents who are in nursing homes and, need, and are being taken care of and are resting and are doing what I think our elderly population should be um, concerned with, which is you know, living out the remainder years of their lives with dignity and, and you know, happiness, which I don't think if Biden continues the way that he's going, it's good, that's gonna happen for him. He deserves to like chill and like relax. <laughs> we know that cognitive abilities decline with age. Um, that's not really a surprise. Everybody knows that at some point you gotta take your grandparents' keys, like probably around the age Joe Biden is. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am 70, going to be 77 myself. I feel my age. Uh, everything's a little creaky. I don't move like I did. He doesn't either. But that doesn't mean we're not with it and we're not capable. I don't lack confidence that another Biden administration could do well because I trust the people that he would have as um, his experts that he relies on. So I think it, it could go fine. Um, to have him in place again, and, and I would trust Kamala Harris to pick up if she had to. Um, but if, if it means that more people will vote for Trump, then that's the danger.